Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some Troll vs. Elves 3, which is made by vladu 4 eg It's been a little while. It's time for our annual match of Troll vs. Elves. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let's get right into it. Hello friends, we are the Troll. And we're playing on a curious map that I haven't seen before. This floor looks really weird. Like this is lower elevation, right? But not actually. Huh. Very funky. Alright, so we've got 20 seconds. Let me explain to you how this mode works. I am the troll. My job is it to kill all of the elves. There are 11 elves, I think. Might be 13. I think there's actually 13 elves. And we can attack those elves, and we can attack their bases by, well, finding them and then punching them in the face. The elves will de build a defensive area. They will build a base. And that base uh, will be something that we can farm like this, right? If we hit it, we gain gold. That's great. We need to find their bases, and then we farm on their bases to become powerful. And then we use that to hopefully um, overwhelm their defenses and eventually win the game. If I ever die, we lose the game. And if I ever manage to kill the elves, uh, then I think they're supposed to get a choice of either joining me or be like continuing to play for the elves. But somebody just said that's something that's now disabled. I, I don't know. Uh, this mode gets updated somewhat frequently, but the uh, intensity of the updates, I guess, varies. Right? <laughs> Most of the time, the updates are pretty minimal. So um, I don't know. Point being, we're here, we're gonna punch this guy. Uh, we do need to scout out where the other troll, uh, where the other elves have their bases. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see we hit this here. We get ourselves some gold for that. The gold depends on our attack damage. So the more damage we do, the more gold we get. And so it makes sense to uh, hopefully, eventually, uh, deal some more damage by buying some items. And that's it. Okay, uh, we can high five. Do you want a high five? High five? <laughs> no, no high five for me. All right. <laughs> That's kind of sad. <laughs> All I want is a high five. <laughs> it's very rude. All right, then. Uh, we can teleport back to our base. We can go invisible. Just the usual fun things, right? Uh, we have 350 gold. We should probably go up to 400 and then go back. Uh, we do kind of need to balance this a little bit. Because uh, if we teleport back too early, then, you know, we don't have enough resources to really make um, make that worth it. And if we teleport back too late, then we die. <laughs> so we'll get some extra damage here and some extra attack speed. It's really all we need at the moment. And then we'll come over here. It's important that we apply pressure on all of the different bases. Uh, because if we leave a base to just kind of grow, if we don't attack them, uh, they will just become huge without uh, you know needing to defend themselves and then they can build full economy and basically the elves win by either killing me or by building a very specific super late game building that takes a lot of resources to build is very expensive and it's just something that you know they need to work towards for a long long time and i win by killing all of them i just need to kill them that's it all right We've played this game a couple of times before, but I like revisiting it every once in a while because it's just, it's just, it's just kind of fun. It's a fun mode, right? All right. So you can see we are getting much more gold now, which is great. That's exactly what I like to see. There's an Archimo. There's Inzoga. We might want to go where the Archimo doesn't have a defensive tower right now, which seems like a, a good point of attack. We've got another 400 gold. Uh, these towers are definitely doing a bit of damage to us, so we should probably... Uh, yeah, I should probably play this save. Let's retreat for now. And we can also get ourselves other upgrades here. So we can also buy health region. We can also buy HP. We can also buy armor, which are all good and worth getting. And now I'm just going to get some more attack speed. And then let's run over here and say hello to Archimo. I'm going to continue using this reveal area to scout out everybody's bases. Bases in this game are fairly static. People don't really move after they have built their base somewhere. I mean, they can, but uh, it's very expensive and it's unusual, right? Most of the time, people just have a base somewhere and that's where they, where they stay. You can also, I think, only have one of these tents, which is like one of the main buildings that gives you gold. So uh, you can't really have two bases, probably. Anyway, you get it. Yeah, get it. Hello. High five? Maybe? 
be nice. I'm not getting high fived. It's it's very rude. I mean, people are just just being very inconsiderate today. I think we found another one. Oh, this guy has defenses. All right, okay. Maybe we'll wait a little bit with that one. We'll wait a little bit with that. But the way things are right now, we're actually perfectly happy to just work away at this pace. <laughs> just work away at it. All right. That sounds good. Sounds like a good way to go. Maybe only balls have the ability to high five. I don't know who has the ability to high five, but I would like a high five. Is all I'm saying. Like, is is that too much to ask for? Do I not deserve a high five? I do feel like I am deserving of a of a high five. That's all I'm saying, right? Oh, hello. Oh, I will no. Come here. <laughs> Oh, man. I appreciate that. What do you high five? Don't you have a button? There, there's a button. There's like literally a button there. Come on, Akimo. You have the ability to. Sick. There you go. Proud of you. Okay, then. Why am I not doing damage? Oh, yes, I forgot. There is a thing that makes it so if I attack one base for too long, then I stop dealing damage to it. So I uh, I kind of wasted some time there. Apologies, I forgot about that. All right, let's buy this. Let's buy this. And then let's get a couple of these. Just casual defensive items again. This seems like an attackable base. Ooh. A deliciously attackable, attackable, attackable base. Sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> oh, but it looks, it looks just so tasty, doesn't it? Oh, it's coming here. No towers, perfect. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, but there is some sort of modifier, isn't there? No. I remember there being some sort of number that shows you how often you can still attack a building, but uh, it seems that that number doesn't display right now. All right. <clears throat> no high five again. Now I'm just just being treated very meanly. Either way, I believe that's a mechanic. If you attack one building for too long, then you stop dealing damage to it. Okay. Yeah, this is being repaired. Oh, here, this is the anti-feed. The stone has full mana. Ah, this right here, this is it. That's how we check. Okay, so if this has full mana, I stop dealing damage to it. That's how it works. Also seems I'm dealing less damage along the way. All right. Okay, this seems like a, a good time to go back. All right, uh, reset this, reset this, and we can get ourselves you, and we get ourselves you, and then come down here. We gotta just kind of apply pressure on everybody, right? That's really important. Because the players that go ignored, they are the players that become really, really scary. Because they just kind of progress without needing to worry. Like this guy. Oh yeah, this dude, I uh, should see what I mean. All right, he just sits there and doesn't need Look to worry about anything. Man. It's me. Hey, Baumi. Do you mind if I ask if you have any VG projects, Aaron? Just curious. I love the work you do. Hey, Mr. Lance. Do you mean like any big or any background projects? Um, no. I don't really have anything going on right now. Uh, to be honest, I'm not particularly happy about that, but I've kind of like gotten to this point where uh, I would love to work on more games or work on more events or just like you know, do one of the things that I'm good at. Like, there are a couple of things that I can do, right? Uh, but important difference there is that I want to, um, next time I work on something, I guess we'll kill you. Oh, never mind. Uh, I mean, sure. Is that I would like to be paid for it. <laughs> That's kind of what I've, I've told myself, where I'm just kind of like, okay, you know, I can continue to put on my own stuff forever. 
And as much as as much as fun, uh, as much as we have had fun with all of those things, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, they've not been particularly lucrative for me. And I don't know. That's something that can be frustrating, right? Where you put in a lot of time and effort into something, you really you work hard for it, and then at the end of the day, it doesn't end up actually being something that is sustainable. Honey, I've made dinner. We're having a cat in a blanket. Also, please leave a thumbs up on the video. I would really appreciate it. So I would really enjoy doing more things in the future, but I got to find a way to actually, you know, make money with it. Uh, even though I'm not a big fan of that line of thinking, unfortunately, there isn't really, you know, much else you can do. Okay, let's grab ourselves a couple of these here. Say hello to Nail, probably, right? So if anybody has a, a fun job for me, let me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like one of those things, right? Like, I would really enjoy making another board game or something like that. Well, admittedly, the board game project was the one that did fully... Like, that one was just actually financially beneficial. All right, that... That is true. Um, so, maybe we should just do something like that. Oh yeah, no, Mr. Lance, absolutely. I would love if I could just, like, pursue creative projects or, like, all kinds of fun stuff, I guess, without the need of, like, having to worry about money. Uh, but unfortunately, that is just not the society we live in, and that's not really how it works. I think uh, that's just something we're all aware of. Alright, we gotta tank up a little bit more, because people are starting to actually do some significant damage, and uh, that is kind of scary. We haven't been here in a while, right? Oh, this is nothing. That's great, we can just come in there and farm up a bunch. Long term, I definitely do want to like continue creating, if that makes sense, right? I have... Um, I recently looked at uh, the game projects that I made, right? Uh, I think I've talked about this before, but... Uh, so, yesterday a friend came over, and... Uh, I don't know, it's just nice, I've actually like made some friends now here. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm really happy about. Like, I lived in Stuttgart for seven years and I, I don't think I made a single new friend in that time. Not a local friend is what I'm saying, right? Like, as much as I appreciate y'all and appreciate people online, and I've definitely made people I would consider friends online. Um, I've, like, I've definitely made friends there. Um, but the thing is just that there is a... Why am I not doing damage? Oh, there's just a protection effect right now. There we go. Right, there's sort of a... I guess a limit to uh, mental health benefits that can come from online interaction. There's a really big benefit to like actually having people that you can meet in person. So anyway, I'm really happy that I've actually made some friends here locally that I, um, you know, like can hang out with. And one of them came over over the weekend and I just kind of like uh, showed him all of the stuff that I have done because if you come into my apartment, you will kind of find traces of it, right? Like, there's just kind of, like, traces of all of the projects that I've made over the years. And, of course, people have questions, and I think that's that's fun. I, I'm really happy to talk about them. So I just kind of, like, showed him, uh, showed him all of the games that I've made over the years. And while going through them, I, I felt really proud of them. You know? Like, I looked at them, and I'm like... Yeah, I mean, Chroma wasn't the greatest game ever made. I'm not trying to tell you that, but like, damn if I don't like it. You know, I think it's real good. And, you know, like, I, I looked at the Zassels and again, it's like, yeah, sure, it's a, it was the first project, but for first project, I'm actually really happy with it. <laughs> and then, of course, Sweet Dreams Alex and Sweet Dreams Alex, I, I just think that's a really really nice game that we made there. It's really unique and it, it really like managed to convey what I wanted to convey with it. 
I'm really, really proud of that one. Really, really proud of it. But also looking at all of those, I saw, you know, the, the, the thousands and thousands of hours of work that I've put into them. And at the end of the day, only disasters actually ended up being a financial benefit to me, right? Um, Chroma ended up being slightly negative, not that much. I was able to actually get a good amount of money back out of it. But, um, I mean, Street Dreams Alex, uh, overall, I guess it was also like about net zero, I suppose if we don't account for all of the work that I put in, right? Like that's currently assuming that I don't get paid for the work, which is probably not the right line of thinking. <laughs> you know. All right, come over here. And that's the thing. I don't know what is in the future. And I really, really want there to be something. But whatever it is, it would be really nice if I didn't have to worry about financing it myself. Um, if that makes sense. What about working on an outsourcing project? I mean, again, like I'm happy, but like right, happy to do that kind of stuff. But right now, for at least this year, I'm still focusing on YouTube. That's my current short slash long term ish plan. How long does this last? It's not worth running over there to get a couple of hits in, right? <clears throat> anyway, that's not what I wanted today to be about, but I guess, you know, something worth discussing. I mean, the thing is that um, Stories of Dota is something that we're going to conclude within six months. So that is a, a project of mine that will be finished relatively soon. I should probably kill these. Kind of hard to kill. But I'm also like really happy with that project and I think it's in a really good spot. Like I have like some nice plans to close it out. And I'm I'm thinking it should work out really nicely. All right, I'm not going to go back right now. I think we can still farm up a little bit more. All right, we're making a good amount of money here, 32,000. It's really nice. But thank you very much, Mr. Lance. That's nice. Didn't Sweet Dreams Arcs took you a long time to make? It did take a long time to make, um, but admittedly, it took a lot longer to make than it probably should have. And that wasn't because of anything that we could do. Like, that wasn't really a mistake of ours. Um, it was because, um, um, well, because my, uh, like, I was working, I had a, like, um, I had, uh, well, shit, I can't, I had a business partner for it, right? I was working, it was a two-person project, really, mostly. And the other person, Wispy, um, he uh, is Ukrainian. So... Like, literally, his homeland, his family, were started getting involved in a war. Like, they were attacked by a hostile nation in the middle of the project. And, uh, I mean, obviously, that's going to have an impact on how it, like, how much he can do and how much he can participate, you know? And as a result, it ended up being a lot, like, a lot less work was getting done than it would have if that wasn't the case. But I don't mean to blame anybody for that. That's obviously not his fault. <clears throat> but despite that, I still think it worked out really nicely. Oh wait, didn't I kill this guy already? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels a bit mean. Oh, sorry. I, I just kind of wanted to do a little base check. Uh, oh, sorry. All right. We take this guy down. Let's let's see. Ah, oh, shit. He's an angel now. No. Why? Every time. Oh, I found Akimo. Let's see if we can get him. 
Oh, 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 oh. Take down this. I mean, we gotta slow him down a little bit. So it's not necessarily the best idea to start killing the elves too early. Because if you kill them really early, one of the issues that you run into is that they um, might become angels. And if they become angels, you know, they continue working against you. And if they continue working against you, um, they can delay your farming by a lot, which is a real, real problem, right? But uh, at the same time, that kind of optimization always feels a little bit wienerish, so I try to avoid doing it. <laughs> is Archimo letting you kill a space like that? Oh, it's because we already killed a space once, if you remember, right? Like, Archimo was over here. So this isn't like he's trying to re-establish a space right now, and it's just kind of difficult. Okay, there's Archimo. Why is Archimo muted? Oh, he can't build anything in here because this is Dupliter space. Okay, gotta go. You can't build within the bases of our people. So, uh, let's sell everything. We have enough for a lumber now. I should actually upgrade this too. With a lumber, we get ourselves this. And then I think we just... Uh, Get ourselves all of these here. We can get another sword. That seems good. Probably go up here. We should be quite powerful now. Mm. Let's go over here. Take this guy down. Wow. See, this is what we're trying to avoid. This is actually really bad for us. Because you can see here... That I think this is Ecstasy's base, but Ecstasy hasn't invested at all in defense. Yes, there are towers here, but these are level 1 towers. They cost like 5 gold, right? So these are not expensive. But now he's been able to establish a giant wall, which means he's really far through his progression. And we, he can also build these snipers, which I cannot tank. Those are too strong for me right now. I mean, they won't kill me, but... Uh, we should be careful. So that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. But it's all right. Because uh, we are now strong enough that we are able to just kind of um, work our way through this. So this is where we get to the kind of annoying part of the game, though. I, I don't like this part of the game. Uh, because now what we want to do is we want to upgrade our base uh, to this right here, Troll Hut 5. And for that... We need to uh, get... Wait, oh, is this going to become a sniper? Yeah, but we can tank one sniper. Three of them are a problem. One is fine. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh, a sniper level two. Oh, probably still okay for a little while, but we got to go back soon. All right, let's go. Ah, we need to upgrade this, and for that we need lumber. But we can only get lumber by going back to our base, which is irritating. <laughs> because we always have to go back here and uh, kind of like rebuy it. Alright, get two of these. We're just trying to maximize our damage. So we, we want to find bases that don't have strong defenses. Because uh, those bases we can just attack and kind of nuke down. And uh, get ourselves a whole bunch of gold. All right. Take this. Oh, buddy, you gotta pay attention. Ah. I was thinking that that might be in range, but it is not. Yeah, but there's just, like, these shitty towers. And the thing about these towers, uh, even if the elf can upgrade it, it takes a long time to upgrade. And it seems somebody's panicking a little bit. That's great. All right, sick. Take down all of this. I'll only kill this right here. I'm not going to bother with the rest of this. Uh, we could try to kill the base in its entirety, but the honestly, it's just not actually that beneficial. 
So there's nothing here, which is good. We can farm up a little bit. But yeah, so basically what we need to do now is we always need to go back to base, buy lumber, and then start running again. We can't just buy lumber while we're out. And then after we have 96 lumber, we use it to upgrade the base so that we can farm lumber from anywhere on the map, uh, which is, you know, kind of like a huge reset. So <laughs> it is how it is, but um, uh, it can get a little bit tedious. That's for sure. <clears throat> What's that? Research lab? Ooh, that's an expensive building. I mean, but this is great. I'm happy to just farm up here. Alright, I mean, I can take that. We already know that. Ooh, this is a, maybe a bit scary. Okay, I'm a little... I'm almost starting to get a little worried. Okay. Let's get out of here. But uh, that's actually fine. We got a huge, huge amount of uh, resources there. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell. Buy another lumber. So, uh, let's get one of this, one of this, one of this. And then we have 12 lumber remaining. So we get this sword... And I mean, actually, like maybe some movement speed wouldn't be too bad. Is that worth it? Probably not, honestly. Uh, let me get another one of these here, and that means I can upgrade these two, right? No. Yes? Yes, I can. No, 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 that does work. Okay. So... There's some towers here now. There's one scary tower here, level 5. But we just became tremendously more tanky. Ah. True sight. We gotta be aware of that. That definitely makes a big difference. Oh, somebody wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, you better believe I'm taking that. Well, that's actually nice, though. I can, I can just come in here and. Uh... Oh wait, that was his base. No, <laughs> Strucker just, <laughs> Strucker just messed up a little bit. <laughs> that works for me. Yeah, we cannot kill this base, but uh, these right here don't do enough damage anymore because we have some good defense now. God damn it, everybody always becomes an angel. Ah, every time. I mean, this base is very killable, right? All right, let's get ourselves to max, and then we'll teleport out. Although, I need to run away. Oh, I guess I don't. You just use the route. Nice. Okay. All right, um, hello. So, trade into lumber again. Sell, 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 sell. Always oh, kind of like starting over completely. So we buy two of these swords, and then we buy two of each of these. And we have eight left over, so I guess I might as well go for more HP. There isn't really a downside, so let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should apply pressure on this base a little bit. Definitely should. Okay, well, we can definitely... We can tank one of these forever now. I'm not worried about it. We're not really making progress on these walls, though. But the good news is that we are farming up our gold very quickly at this stage, right? With this much gold income, uh, we'll be able to go back really frequently, get ourselves a whole bunch of lumber. We should uh, count. So this right here is 512 gold. 
Uh, 64,000 less. Uh, I guess 900 something. Might as well go all the way. Thanks for the high five. That should be enough. Let's go back really quick. Uh, we have 32? No, we don't have 32. Ah, sorry. Need to buy this first. Now we have 32. And I guess I'll just get another little bit, little bit of a boost. Quick scout. Free snipers. That's nothing. That is nothing. Yeah, you can see now we're building up our gold so quickly. But that's exactly what we want, right? Because then we can go back quicker, reset our stuff, come back with more powerful items, farm even quicker, and just kind of repeat that loop for a little while. Right now, it's definitely just a lot of running back and forth. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. All right. Wait. Oh, that cancelled it? Oh, these don't work like TPs. I need to shift queue my movement. Okay. Well, that's kind of on me, I guess. I don't know. Just kind of thought it would work like a TP. Eight here. Eight here. I don't like taking too many risks if it comes to like not having HP and armor. Because it's just... You get caught once, you're dead, right? And then the game is over. And that's always something that I think is a bit tricky with this game on. I really like it, but it has that issue of ending. And that's actually... <laughs> I had a funny experience recently. Um, I was uh, playing Magic the Gathering, right? I was playing Commander. And um, we were just uh, we we were just kind of playing like a silly round of everybody was playing mono green commander decks, and uh, I made a comment at one point where I said, "Oh, if I kill, but if I kill you now, the game is over, and I I I want to keep playing." And then somebody from like a nearby table started kind of laughing, and not like laughing at me, kind of like <laughs> you know like. In that way, it's just kind of like, I get what you mean. Like, it sounds so silly, but I get what you mean. And it, it just kind of like made me think a lot because I'm like, well, yeah, right. That is a factor in a way, isn't it? Because you know what the worst part of the game is? When it's over. That doesn't always apply, right? There are games where your goal is mostly just to win and that can be fine. But at the same time... For a game like this, I kind of like always just want to keep going. Or for a game like Commander, right? I always just kind of want to keep going. Because the worst part of the game is when it's over. That's always the part that I want to just kind of keep going with. Like, let's just keep playing. We played Catan recently. I really like Catan. I really enjoy it. And I'm much better at Catan than the other people at the table. So I got to a point where... The game could have kept going for like another 45 minutes if I wanted to. Or I could just end it right now because I already have the win in hand that I have been planning towards. And I was kind of like, hmm, do I go for it? Or do I just, you know, let the game, game keep going a little bit longer? Because the problem is, if I win right now, sure, I win. But I also can't keep playing anymore. I think that's a big problem with actually the auto chess, auto chess genre in particular, PvP auto chess. Because if you play a PvP auto chess game like auto chess or teamfight tactics or auto gladiators or Hearthstone battlegrounds, any of those, right? A problem that I always feel has existed since the very beginning is that, well, once you win, the game is over. So you don't get to even experience all of the cool stuff that you got. 
right? You have all of these cool things and you want to keep using them. But you can't. Because you won. <laughs> and that kind of sucks. Like, I wish I didn't win because then I get to keep doing my cool stuff. This is a really easy base for us to use to farm up, which is great. In that way, I actually think auto chess, the auto chess style of game, works much better as a single player game. Because as a single player game, the game keeps going. If you have a cool thing, well, you can keep playing. You can just keep playing. You keep playing and keep playing and keep playing. The game doesn't end until your cool thing isn't that cool anymore. At least with like the roguelike style game that I've seen before, like the infinite runs and so on, something something like Brotato or, you know, um, uh, SNKRX. Custom Hero Chaos is it's not really an order chest, but like that game definitely has an element of that, right? Where you have your cool build and you want to keep playing and then the game ends, but... The difference there is that that game does actually let you keep playing, and that's kind of nice. So we need to be a, a little bit aware now. Because we have, um, we have enough gold to turn this on. We can now do this. And that's nice, but the problem is if we do that, we lose a lot of damage. So we actually need to farm up a little bit more first. Are some good single player auto chess games. Um, uh, Brotato is great. <laughs> I've played a lot of Brotato. SNKRX. SNKRX and Brotato are like the two games that I would always recommend. Uh, they're also really cheap. Like, that's a big thing about them that makes them very easy to recommend because, you know, they don't cost a ton of money. You can just do like two bucks each. So you can just like play them. All right. I think it's time. We upgrade here. We get this. So now it's going to take us a while to get our money farmed up again. Um, but the good news is we don't have to go back to base now anymore. <clears throat> right now we can do this from anywhere. I gotta assign a hotkey. Does that work? No. You know, Dota used to have functioning hotkeys, but these days not so much. If I assign this... Ah, that works. Okay, good. Very nice. You heard of Bellatro? I have heard of Bellatro. Um, but... And this may sound kind of stupid. But I haven't been, like, super interested in it. Because it's a game that's really popular in the online spaces. And I feel like if I were to, like... Make something with it, like some video or something about it, or if I had an opinion on it, it would just kind of get drowned out in things that aren't like that everybody says. And it's just kind of like, eh, what's even the point? I don't know if that's a silly attitude. It probably is. I've been playing much more inspiring games. Um, I've played... Uh, we, we were going through my Steam library recently, and I found... Oh, where is it? I can't find it. All right, I gotta kind of keep an eye on my HP while I do this, so we don't die randomly. Yeah, I I played Fairy Bloom Freesia, <laughs> which ended up being actually a surprising amount of fun, and weirdly, I can recommend it. Oh yes, uh, we also played. Um, what was it called? Sorting Cats? No, that was not it. Some games about putting cats into boxes. So we don't need this anymore, right? Because this uh, gave us attack speed anyway. Organizing, right? Yes, organizing cats neatly. We played organizing cats neatly. That's very nice. Uh, it's probably the single most infuriating game that has ever been made. If you ever want to be mad with a stream, like if you want to be mad with your Twitch chat, if you are a streamer, 
um, play organizing cards neatly, everybody will get incredibly upset at each other. It's, it's gonna be the most stressful environment you will ever be in. It's just gonna be a nightmare. Oh man, I'm worried about this, but... What can I do? I mean, I have my farming engine going. <clears throat> if you think... If you think Dota is stressful... Oh, I need to go. This base can't be farmed anymore. If you think Dota is stressful, you know nothing. <laughs> you don't know what stressful means until you've played organizing cards neatly with a chart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is not enough right like yeah we're really tanky damage output looking good as well we can farm up here a little bit but we're also not applying any pressure But that's okay. Right now, the main goal is simply to get as much um, gold as we can, or specifically as much lumber as we can, right? Because uh, that way we can just like kind of keep snowballing. Upgrading the armor. Well, so far they're not really doing any damage. It's unlikely that they'll be able to just like instantly kill me with something. It is definitely a possibility, but for the moment, it's a risk we gotta take. Right? That's a factor. You just kind of have to have a little bit of a risk-reward evaluation. If you overcommit into survivability, which we probably did, you know, then you're limiting how much damage you can do. And if you're limiting how much damage you can do, then you're limiting how much you're farming, and that's not good. Ah, this tower doesn't have a and a mana bar anymore. Right, I'll just TP back now. So, sell one of these, and we can get ourselves one of these. Which is a pretty significant increase. I mean, it's, it's double the damage. It's good. It's good. I'm just gonna keep hitting here. It's a base that's really close nearby. And it doesn't have a timer, and it's not threatening, threatening enough to kill me. And it is a base that we have to apply pressure on. Because this is the player that's, I think, closest to actually winning. Now, uh, how do we actually win ourselves? Well, there is an item that we want to buy, which is this anti-repair. Wait, is it here? Yeah, hammer time, this right here. The Desolator. It's a neutral item. Put it into our neutral slot. Makes it so that the base cannot get healed anymore. And then we're going to start dealing some damage. So attack speed right now. Well, close enough to max. <clears throat> yeah, at this point, the items aren't as cost effective anymore. Now we are starting to enter cost inefficiency, but... Cost inefficiency is just going to be something that we have to accept. We could go back again. Get another one of these. Should probably do that. I could also get this. Let's try it. I mean, we can sell it for full price. So I deal less damage now. But this makes it so that the tower cannot be repaired anymore. And I would like to break into the space. Right, so now it can't be repaired anymore. We're actually dealing damage. There's not enough here to properly defend this. I think we should just be able to get in. And this is a base that we want to kill just because Ecstasy might actually be getting close to winning. Right, and, uh, and that's something we want to prevent. Yeah, you can see that now the, all of the repairing doesn't do anything anymore. At this point, you need to have enough damage output to drive me away. 
Otherwise, there's several levels to it. Because this one I need to put into my inventory. The level 2 I can put into my neutral item slot. And, uh, you know, that's much better, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to get in, but I can't. I'm too big. Troll has a really big model size. Okay. Alright, attack this. Thank you. So, uh, there are a bunch of buildings that we need to kill. I think we got most of it, yeah. Alright, let's go back again. Sell this. And I think now I'm gonna buy myself this armor of God. So this is basically like just the perfect defensive item. We don't need any other defensive items now. So we can just go for damage. How's this base looking? These are I mean hmm. Do we do we fuck with it? I think so. Let's try. Oh, this does nothing. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we are fine. Yeah. See, armor of God is huge. This thing just makes me so tanky. <clears throat> we can also still keep scaling this for a little while. Ooh. Should be a kill. Root. Well, well, well. You can root me all you like. Buddy. It's not gonna be enough. Really? I can't fit through there? <laughs> Troll is so fat. <laughs> So that's actually the most important building there, that um, alchemist. As long as we get rid of that, I'm not really too fussed about everything else. Although we do a lot of damage to these buildings, so they're kind of worth killing just because of that. Alright, so we're doing a lot of base damage, which is valuable for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's nice because, you know, it gets rid of their base. And that buys us a lot of time. Because they have to rebuild their base and that's just kind of slow. The other problem, or the other benefit, is that it um, forces them into like a different area, kind of. Usually people don't buy, like rebuild in the same area that they were just driven out of. Although, yeah, we do actually have to find some more of these people. And uh, the thing is that the uh, elves do have a teleport. So a problem that we have to deal with is we need to just somehow actually catch him. <laughs> that can be a little bit difficult. Alright. Oh, hello. There's ecstasy. That's good. I really do have to find out where Sunrise is. Is that it? No, that's Akimo again. Alright, we'll just shut down this base for a second time. Hmm. The question is really how do I actually find the remaining players? Can I come up here? Oh, okay. That's not very clear. Take down all of this. A couple more of these. Probably just time to go back, but I just accidentally used my teleport, so... We'll go ahead and clear out a couple more of these. Oh, there we go. That's nice. 
Another angel, of course. <laughs> Every time, dude. Uh, it makes sense. If you think about it, right? Because why would players want to join the side that just killed them? The incentives just aren't really there. Okay. I mean, that's a base that's pretty exposed. We could just attack that. Wait, what is this? Have I missed this base the entire time? No, this is new, right? Wait, is this Sunrise's base? What? It's really strong. It's actually killing me. This is not a base that was built recently. Alright, we go back, heal up really quick. Because we're so close, we can just do that. Hopefully we heal quicker than the building is, is healed. A little bit. Like, we made a slight bit of progress there. This is maybe not a good idea. But yeah, I actually think we cannot win this fight. Not right now. Tough one. Alright then. That's okay, we'll just do something else for a moment. So is that actually Sunrise's base? Is that the scariest base on the map? It's like right next to me and I somehow missed it all game. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of impressive, I have to say. Another arm of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it. It's just right now, I think there's still another base that we can tackle for a moment at least. So let's just do that first. And then... Um, and then we'll go afterwards, right? The only building that is important that we kill is we gotta always kill those research labs. Those are worth taking down. Alright, so uh, we get rid of this. This doesn't really do much. And we get another armor of God. With that... Yeah, this is just some... How did I miss this? Can you attack, please? Yeah, with the second armor of God, we can definitely tank this a lot better, but still not fully. Mm, see here, Fury Swipes. Right, this guy has Fury Swipes. Is that? No, it doesn't seem to be. Something. Something, something similar. But there we go, we got him. Now we take down all of the scary towers. And... We're standing strong. So, there's one here, there's Archimo down there. Can we get that? I mean, this space, this space is wide open. Because it's just, this building is not strong enough. It's fine. I don't care about the building. I want to kill Archimo. Can't attack right now, but that's okay. We're faster. Nice. Alright, let's go back. Sell this. <gasps> I have a wolf! Can I give him money? Yeah, there you go. Are you happy now? Of course! I'm always alone! Be part of the team! Yeah, I sent you some cash. You can itemize a bit. Alright, so we've cleared this base. There's a base here, right? Yes. I think so? Yes, we have. We have a friend. What's the last level of hut for? Last level of hut makes you, may, lets us summon a spirit bear. I don't really think there's much point to it, personally. Oh, hello. Blink? No blink yet? There we go. Ooh, blinked into a bad spot. I think that's it, buddy. Okay, good. Um, where are we going? 
Yes, also a wolf. There you go. I give you some more stuff. The wolves can also buy items, right? And I was just like letting them buy things, giving them some inventory stuff. Giving 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 them an inventory is what I'm saying, you know. Hey, you gotta join the winning side. <laughs> Uh, there's a base here, but it's not defended at all. Oh, it's the the base. I think I left this earlier, right? Because it's just not really worth the time to clear it out. All right, come over here. Thank you very much. All right, Dupliter. Got a couple of minor things, but not really enough. Should be able to take this down. Oh, okay. Nice. It's great that we are managing to, like, snatch out the elves as they are escaping. There we go. Wasn't there a base around here? Blue? What's this? Oh, it is a base. Well, not much of one, anyway. Not much of a base anymore. There's another one, nice. Alright, let's go back. Now it's just about hunting him down, right? Although it's actually not that easy, we gotta find him. Gotta find him. Where are they? Is ecstasy? Sick, go get him. So nice to actually have some wolves that help out for once, you yeah? know? Okay. Because usually whenever we play this, everybody becomes an angel, and then I have to one versus one versus thirteen them. <laughs> nah, that's a lot of healing reduction, but we're actually we're hanging in there. Still doing fine, still doing fine. Nice. Got tripped up. Oh, but straight into being an angel. No consideration there at all. Where could the last few be? Oh, found him. So this nail. Oh, did I, I... Did I ever break this base? This might be a base I actually haven't destroyed yet, right? I've broken, I've, I've, I've broken into a lot of these bases, at least once. But I don't know if I ever managed to actually get into nail space. Hmm, that's not great. That's not ideal. Or did I? Well, it's definitely a, a big one. It's doing, it's doing actual genuine damage to me. And the tower doesn't go down easily. If the wolf plays properly, then can the elves even win? Um, so amongst the like more dedicated players of this mode, uh, the game is generally considered to be unwinnable for the troll. At least that's last that I know. This may have changed now. God, how do I get in there? That's a real problem. I probably retreated too early there. I just need money, right? We just need money. I can keep... I can leave the weaker bases to my wolves. My attack speed now is really low. Ooh, that's bad, okay. So we need much more attack speed. So we sell, sell, buy one of these, probably just buy another one of these, sell this, get a huge item here, sell this, and um, probably just get another armor of God because the damage is actually what's killing me. 
Wait, what base is this? Found another one. Well, that's convenient. We can just take this down. Wait, there's another one. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, but it's a base where I can farm. That's good. That's good. See, that's kind of the problem of killing the weaker players. If you kill the weaker players, then... Um, you just kind of end up... Uh, unable to actually, uh, you know... Arm in the same way that you were able to before. Okay. Let's check out this one really quick. We're not getting gold as quickly anymore. Should probably sell all of these and get myself some more damage. I wonder what this is. Alright, let's go back. You already have max attack speed. Um, I have max attack speed. As long as I, my attack speed isn't being slowed. And that's the problem right now. If I attack Nail's base, my attack speed is being slowed. Like, very heavily. I had 150 attack speed when I was attacking his base. So I bought myself some extra attack speed to make sure that I attack quickly. Wasn't there a base there? Yes. Did they just like give up on it? <laughs> Did I kill it? Am I? Am I? Uh, am I that stupid? Am I to forget that entirely? No All right, I killed it. I killed it. Oh man, sorry. I'm kind of hungry. Oh my god! No way. I can't. I'm dead. Am I dead? Oh, they got me. Oh, man. Damn. Radiant victory. They were... How many players were still alive? There were actually like a bunch of them still alive. But I think Nail was the only base that, we had, that was actually scary. Ah... Well, we tried. Look, we're not going to win every single one of these. I think that was a fun game. I think that was good. If you did enjoy it as well, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.